Jindo Lee, CEO and co-founder of HappyCo. At HappyCo, what we do is we help property management companies replace pen and paper in the field with mobile technology. Um, so since we first started, um, there hasn't really been any sort of great big pivots in the business. Um, I mean, predominantly, the, the major sort of change has been the fact that you know, in Australia, um, businesses are much smaller. Right? There's less quantity, there's less volume of businesses. So coming over here, uh, what we've really done is just really gone and, and attacked a really big market with much bigger customers, bigger clients, and a wider range of um, um, audiences. Um, so really, at the, end, at the heart of the business, it hasn't really changed. We're still focusing on replacing pen and paper in the field um, with mobile technology. So it became really apparent that we needed to move here. Um, one of the biggest things we found is Americans love love it when you're in America. Right? Anything outside of America is kind of a foreign. It's, it could be Mars. Doesn't matter where it is. So um, moving here was a very early decision we we, we took and, and made. Um, you know, working with um, Anza um, was really really a eye opening experience for us. Coming over here, looking at um, the market, and then. The choice to move over here was, was a no-brainer. Today we've, we've done a few capital raises. Uh, we came over as part of um, uh, an incubator called 500 Startups. Um, from that we, we raised a seed round uh, and recently we raised another sort of smaller, uh, let's call it a Series A kind of seed extension round um, from a few really good investors uh, like Point9 Capital, uh, Bessemer, um, the Angel List Syndicate, so Gil Pinchina Syndicate, um, Scott Bannister, um, and a few other sort of investors as well. So I think like building a, a business in Silicon Valley is very different from anywhere else in the world. Um, from what I've experienced, like it's a much more friendly, entrepreneurial friendly uh, culture, and that comes from every dimension. From you know, in Australia, if you wanted to meet. Uh, the owner of a small restaurant or pub, you wouldn't even get FaceTime with them. Over here, you could go and meet you know, a CEO or founder of a billion dollar company, set up a meeting and have lunch with them. You know, so that culture of sort of uh, the paying, for, paying it forward culture is really prevalent here and really important to sort of help new um, businesses coming through the ecosystem. Um, one thing we've also found is from a fundraising point of view, in Australia it was really hard for us to fundraise, partly because um, the market is smaller, there's less capital and also there has been less successes in the market so access to capital is really difficult. Um, over here I wouldn't say it's easy but it's definitely, um, uh, there's more access to capital and it's easily or readily available if you're the right person and the company to, to get it.